Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing another spell for you guys. Uh, I've been working with a client for a bit now, uh, removing any negative or excess negative energy in her life. Uh, things are not going the way she would want. Uh, so here we are doing this the spell for her. So this spell is particularly for those of you guys that are interested in bringing love towards you. For those of you guys that have been single for a very long time, this is ideal for you as this will not only remove uh, any blockages in regards to love, in regards to romance, uh, any issues that perhaps you've been having to deal with or that there is need for healing in that aspect, this will remove uh, those blockages as well as assist you bringing in new opportunities, new suitors, uh, pretty much getting your romance and love life uh, up in the up and up. <laughs> so for those of you guys that are currently ready to jump into the dating pool or for those that perhaps you may be a bit um, a bit more introvert and it's a little bit more difficult for you to get yourself out there, uh, doing this will definitely increase not only bringing to you uh, new suitors but bring to you suitors that are ideal or that are specifically looking for what you're looking for. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now let's go on to the ingredients. So as you guys can see here, you're going to need a white piece of paper, ideally not so big, uh, blank with absolutely no lines. This is going to be our petition paper. This is where we're going to uh, basically write down exactly what it is that we're looking for in a partner. Uh, we're also going to be needing two roses, ideally dry roses. Uh, if you happen to have only fresh, you can use fresh as well. But I find that it works much more quicker and much more, uh, I guess it brings you more <laughs> to choose from uh, using dry. So again, ideally dry roses, um, but of course, if you have only fresh, then of course, you know, don't uh, go out and try to find uh, dried ones when you can use fresh ones. Just putting it out there that it does give you a greater result when they are dry. Also, you're going to be needing um, the, the uh, leaves from the roses, about a good seven to ten uh, leaves. You're also going to be needing for women. So if you're a woman and you're doing this spell for yourself, uh, you're going to be needing a pink candle. If this is for a man and you're doing this to bring in love to you, you would use a blue candle. Okay, the roses have to be red though. Just putting it out there. It doesn't matter if you're female or a male. You would have to use red. But for the candle, specifically for men, you would use a blue one. For women, it would be a pink. Okay, because we're using this for a client, uh, we're going to be using a pink one because it is a woman. You're also going to be needing pansy. Um, this is a herb that we highly use for a lot of our oils um, and spells that have to do with, uh, you know, I wouldn't say dominating, but it has more of an alluring type of sexual energy. And pansy is ideal for that. Uh, because they kind of become dumbfounded with you. Uh, so what we're doing is obviously pulling in more opportunities, more suitors for you. Uh, so that's the reason why we're using Pansy. As well as it gives you the upper hand in anything that has to do with love and romance. Okay. Now we're also going to be using, as you guys can see here, we're going to be using uh, patchouli leaves. Uh, I'm sure all of you guys know about these leaves. Uh, it is not just used highly in spells that have to do with love and romance, but also with business, with money, with anything that has to do with attraction. Uh, so that's the reason why we're using uh, the patchouli leaves as well as, uh, let me put this to the side. We are also going to be using the five finger grass. So if you guys are not aware of this herb, uh, this herb has a lot of beneficial elements to it. It is, like I said, it's kind of like the patchouli. It's not necessarily just for love. It's also uh, the five finger grass. We use it to remove any blockages or for kind of like uh, blockbuster spells, anything that has to do with road opening, anything that has to do with 
um, removing blockages and luck uh, more than anything for uh, spells that have to do with fortune, that has to do with luck, that has to do with finances and money. Uh, we use uh, five finger grass uh, often because of its power as well as because of the uh, blessings that carry with this herb. Uh, so it's kind of like a good luck uh, charm as well as good luck uh, overall in every single aspect of our life. That's the reason why we're using this, okay? All right, and finally, we're going to be needing sugar. Sugar is obviously to sweeten yourself, to sweeten, uh, to come off uh, more approachable for other people to uh, really be intrigued, to be enticed by wanting to approach you, um, to sweeten the situation. Uh, obviously, for those of you guys that have been single for a while and you're ready to put yourself out there, this uh, sugar is definitely going to help as well as making you more attractive to the opposite sex or vice versa. Can you do this for same sex? Absolutely, absolutely. Except instead of using the patchouli, you're going to be using the, um, what is it called? Uh, Jamaica, I'm not sure. Uh, I can't think of how you say it in, in English at the moment. But anyways, um, it's the, I'll link it down below. I'll make sure to put it down there so you guys can see in the description box. Uh, so anyways, let's get going with this uh, spell. So you guys can see here, we already have some sage going on, obviously to cleanse our space, to make sure that there is no negative or excess negative energy uh, surrounding us. We've grounded ourselves, so we're ready to go. We're ready to get it uh, going. Okay, so what we're going to need is we're going to need to write down our petition, be as concise and specific as possible. As, um, as an example, for these type of spells, I ideally encourage you guys to probably use, as an example, if there is a specific uh, feature that you like in a person, um, if there is, you know, if you like them tall, if you like them short, that type of thing, ideally uh, use about, I would say a little bit less than half, about four to three different things that you are specifically looking for in a partner in regards to their physical aspect. The rest has more to do with, um, as an example, a person, if you're looking for a person that is more compassionate, that's more understanding, that's more loving, that type of thing. The, the thing here is a lot of the times when we petition or ask uh, for specific phys physical features, as an example, uh, it's very difficult for us to connect on an emotional level. Uh, and this is crucial for this type of spell. It is very important to be able to connect on an emotional level, uh, asking or petitioning what you're wanting to bring towards you. So it's very important to, again, like I said, tune into that of the emotional rapport or the emotional connection. Uh, so as an example, if, you know, looks is something very important to you, uh, you would start off as I, you're going to put your first name, last name, date of birth. I call upon, um, as an example, I call upon a man that is, if you prefer them tall, that is tall. Uh, if you prefer them short, that is short. Um, a person that, you know, has beautiful eyes, um, whatever it is that your physical features is something important, if it's important to you. Um, but then you go quickly to, again, connecting to the emotional I want them to be emotionally supportive, a person that is uh, very loving, very considerate, very whatever it is. It's all about intention here, and it's very important to tune into that, to hone into that energy. Um, so again, you know, really think about it before writing down your petition. Really put some thought and effort into it. Connect with it on an emotional level. How are you going to feel when this person shows up into your life? when they show you that they're extremely considerate, when they show you that uh, they're good listeners, whatever it is that you're asking for, very important to uh, tune into that before writing down your petition. So take your time with this, okay? Okay, so I already have this ready. This is for my client. Um, so an example, I already told you guys what you would ideally write here, and this is going to be your petition, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to... Let me put this to the side.
Okay, so we're going to put the petition right at the center of this tray. Ideally, you would use a plate or something that you can uh, put your work on top of, okay? Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to uh, spit some saliva into this paper. Uh, because I'm doing this for a client, it would be my saliva because obviously I am doing the spell work for her. So give me one second. Okay, so you're going to put some of your saliva here. Um, what the saliva does is basically you're going to you're going to put the sugar. Uh, you're going to put some sugar on top of the petition paper. And what you're doing is anything that comes out of your mouth. Uh, to the person that you're pulling towards or you're attracting it's almost like you're kind of um, you're kind of raising your vibration to the point of them really being kind of in a trance when you speak to them when you communicate with them it's like the communication is just going to come through so very clearly um, and that's the reason why we use our own saliva now in this case because I'm doing this for my client and I'm using obviously my saliva what that does it's going to amplify obviously because once i'm done with this i do work specifically for um i, I specifically do workings for uh the saints that i work with so i pretty much commend the spell works to him um so it just amplifies that okay so like i said you're going to put some of your saliva on the petition paper once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to put some sugar into the petition or you can open it a bit put some there and all around okay all right once that is done what we're going to do is we're going to put some of the rose leaves use the big ones uh, to go around and then we're going to use some of the small ones to make a trail towards the sugar and the petition paper okay now we're going to do the same thing with the roses, but we are going to tactfully pull out a few of them, okay, and we will set this one here. Then we're going to use the other one to use some of them, some of the leaves as well. Like I said, tactfully. And the purpose behind this is that we're using both your rose and the rose that is going to represent the partner that you're bringing towards you. So we are cementing and connecting both your energy and the person that's coming towards you or the person that you're petitioning to come through for you as well as guiding them on a spiritual level towards you okay let me move this to the side all right so once that is done what we're going to do now is we're going to get some of the some of the pansy and we're going to do the same thing okay we're going to go around creating a trail that leads to the sugar and the petition. Give me one second. I just like to continuously keep having um keep having the sage burning uh to cleanse the energy forgot to mention when you're writing the petition if you're a woman you would use a pink pen if you're a man you would use a blue or light blue colored pen 
as it's a representation of the feminine or masculine, okay? All right, once we're done with that, what we're going to do now is we're going to get the patchouli. Okay, and we are going to do the same thing. We're going to go around. If you guys do this with a lot of focus, I know a lot of the times, um, you know, I get emails from you guys and I think when we uh, upload videos that have a lot of ingredients or perhaps there is a process to follow, it's a little bit more difficult for you guys uh, to, to follow or it's more difficult for you guys to find some of the ingredients, etc. Um, and if that's the case, you know, I encourage you guys to watch the video more than once so that you don't feel when you're doing the spell work. So you don't feel like you're in a rush or like you're missing something because you're trying to follow it to a T. Um, so I would encourage you guys to rewatch videos before jumping into doing spell work just so you feel more comfortable and you don't feel like. A lot of the times when, you know, if you guys do feel like you are a bit overwhelmed or you're kind of rushing or so concerned and focused in the minute details that you kind of overlook or for, you know, kind of overlook certain things, um, then it becomes more difficult for you guys to see the manifestations of it. And the reason for that is because you're not fully focused. You're not fully concentrated in what you're doing. So I would highly encourage you guys to rewatch the videos or to study it you know when you're watching the video really study it write down notes go through those notes um, multiple times as many times until you get comfortable with it so that then when you're doing this you're completely focused and concentrated in what you're bringing towards you okay hope that makes sense all right so what we're going to do now is we are going to let's see Let me put some of the five finger grass and really put some in the sugar as well. You guys can find all of these ingredients. Uh, you can also find candles, everything you can find on my online store. Uh, so if you guys are um, finding it difficult to find some of the herbs, you can find all of that on my online store as well as if you're uh, wanting to prepare yourself going into this spell, I would highly encourage, if you're a woman, I would highly encourage you to get uh, the Lilith's Passion Soap, although we still are waiting for those soaps to cure, um, but they should be going up uh, within a couple of weeks. Um, and for men, if you guys are wanting to do this before getting into it, I would highly recommend the Handsome Devil Soap. This is going to help you. Uh, amplify bring to you uh, more attraction uh, more suitors more opportunities in regards to love and romance uh, you guys can also use the um, uh, black cat soap as well as that is specifically for rituals and spells okay with that being said all right so once this is done what we're going to do now is we're going to really put our energies towards this candle okay so you would ideally put both your the palm of your hands around the candle and you're going to do a prayer or a petition. So let me do this rather quickly in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost. I bless and consecrate this candle for my client. To remove any blockages that she may currently be experiencing at the moment, whether it be blockages that were laying on a conscious or subconscious level, as well as cutting cords with anything that no longer serves her. You should be able to be Okay. So what you're going to do is, again, like I said, you're going to put both your hands here. You're going to say a prayer, a petition as an example. Um, if you're wanting to work with the elements, if you don't work with the specific saint, a specific deity, a specific uh, 
spirit, uh, what you would do is ideally you would put your hands on the candle and you would say out loud, um, I call upon all my spirit guides, my wise and loving spirit guides, my ancestors uh, or archangels. I call upon you to be present in this spell work that is about to commence. I call upon the elements. I call upon uh, fire. I call upon water. I call upon earth. I call upon air and spirit. Please be present to assist me. Allow me to be able to uh, fully commence, begin, and conclude the spell work. Uh, assist me in being able to remove any blockages currently keeping me from experiencing happiness or from experiencing a long-term uh, monogamous or even marriage, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, marriage, um, allow me to be able to bring to me not only the manifestation, but uh, the growth, the advancement, and the full completion of wish fulfillment and happiness. Uh, in perfect trust and in perfect love, blessed be. Okay, once that is done, what we're going to do now is we are going to burn the candle. Uh, you're going to let it, you're going to light it, and you're going to let it burn, I want to say for a good 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, once you have it going, what you're going to do is you're going to pour some of the wax into the sugar and the petition paper and make sure to get it really really wet especially around the both the roses uh, the reason the reason for this is once the spell work is concluded and once the candle is completely uh it's completely burnt out it's completely done there's no more wax and it's extinguished for itself um what you're going to do then is you're going to get uh the petition paper with the roses and what you're going to do is you can do you have two options one of them is you can pick all of this as a whole and keep the wax intact try not to break it as well as the petition and you can put it in a sacket bag and keep that or put that under your mattress uh, you should experience like i said more opportunities more people coming towards you more people giving you attention once you find yourself in a relationship or once you're getting to the point of being in a relationship, you have the option of either offering it. So you can offer it to um, you can offer it to Mother Earth the best way you know how to. So as an example, you can um, offer it if you're especially if you're working for, with a specific element, if you feel more comfortable working with a specific element. As an example, if you offer it to the element of fire, once this is done and it's concluded, you have the option of burning the paper with the sugar and everything that is connected with the wax. You can throw it in a cauldron or you can throw it in a grill or something and burn it. Uh, once it's burned, you pick up the ashes and you pretty much release it or blow on it. And what you're doing is you are pretty much sending the energy to receive you're pulling it out you're projecting it out to be able to receive um or you can do it with earth you can follow it after this is done you can just pick it up and bury it in a plant bury it by a tree whatever it is that you want to do now for those of you guys that want to make it very easy again like i said you can just put this collect this put it in a socket back and keep it as safekeeping. You can put it under your mattress and keep it there until you find yourself in a relationship. Once you are in a relationship, you do have to dispose of it. So again, ideally, whatever you feel more comfortable with, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I do have another step that I need to do for my client. So I have to wait uh, within 24 hours to be able to light the candle, etc. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you make the most of it. And I hope it brings to you all uh, the love that you're looking for, the love that you're ready to experience, that you're ready to receive, and that you're willing to give as well. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye, my lovelies.